welcome back to Midford Pottery. Bit of an odd throwing video today. So I was preparing some clay and I noticed the clay I was preparing is different to my normal B17C. It's a lot darker and it's a lot it's got a lot more grog in it, it's really gritty. So I thought, well, what can I do? It was just mixed in with like 10 other bags of clay. So it's obviously been put in there by mistake. So we don't know what it is. Apart from it's got stoneware written on the bag, which is okay. So I thought, we'll divide it up and we'll throw some items that don't need handles and things like that. Saying that I've only got one bag of it. So we sliced it up. These are kilogram. I'll have to check one second. Where's my scales gone? They're either a kilo, kilo or 1.2. Let's have, I think it's a kilo. Yeah, kilo. One kg of unknown stoneware clay. So I thought, well, got to make a few yarn balls. And little planters and that so we'll have a go so we'll get the camera on the wheel so you can see what's going on we'll tear that out a bit excuse the arm in the way right oh, never guns right the first time does it there you go, we can see what's going on. So here we go. I have used a 500 gram ball of this. Like I say, it's very, very grainy. But we'll give it a go and we'll try and use it up. And I'm on the, the old, uh, what is it? Is it a potter's mate? Yeah, a Merlin Potter's Mate. And it's only recently I've found you can adjust the seat, so. Uh, it does buzz a bit, so apologies for the, the little noise it makes. So, we're going to treat it as normal. So, Kalo. So the, the old potter's mate's struggling a bit. It tends to get a little bit slower. So we're going to do yarn balls. Well, I mean they start off as a normal ball really. So, so we're going to... So for a change, I have prepared my clay a little better. So it was weighed out yesterday, kneaded 50 times each. So it should be it's quite nice to throw. Well, it's more pliable now. I'll make sure we get them in the middle. So it's just the same for now. We don't want to go too thin on the base. Because we want to carve it. Now. I'm going to try and get that. Curve on the inside. Bit 
slower now. So, inside's got our sort of basis of our curve. So now, we're going to start to go up a little bit. So what I tend to do is, I'll push in with my thumb, draw the curve, and then when my fingers get to a point where they can nip the clear a little bit, they both go up. Like that. And we repeat that. So I'm going to push in with my thumb, draw the curve, nip the clear, and bring it up. Now we want to go high, as high as we can before we go out. Because we don't want it to collapse. So we want to push in right at the base, draw that curve. Nip the clear. That's what we're going to do uh, in a minute. Get the get the tools on it because it's the main thing on balls is that inside profile. Got to get that nice. And as you can see, compared to my normal clear, it is quite a muddy a muddy brown colour. So I'm going to push in draw that curve like that because we don't want to go too thin because when we stretch it out it'll just collapse on us so I think we're getting there height wise I think we're all right so now we're going to just fine tune the curve Take it out a little bit further. Like that. Maybe just a touch more. Now what I try to do with the yarn balls is, if I can, I'll try and curve them back in at the top because it is for a ball of wool. So I think we're all right for size there. So now we're going to try and perfect that curve a little more by using the, rub the tools. Now that has too much of a point on it. So one second, we need a different type of curve. So that point's going to dig into the clay at the top. So what we're going to use instead, switch to a rubber, um, a wooden tool. Get rid of the water so we can see where we're going. We're going to use that to profile our curve. So I'll just tilt it in, just gently rest it in the middle. So, I'm 
Not bad, not a bad shape. So as with most bowls, the shape on the outside takes you thin it out more to get that nice foot on it. Uh, I do need a chamois leather, which I have over here. Which is a bit wrong, so I need to chop this down a bit. Bit of chamois. Bit of chamois leather. So we still want on a nice smooth edge and put it in around. Like so. Now their tools and we're just going to give it a scrape that's it and same as always just take a bit of the excess off the base with our little stick. Like so. Have a look. That's not too bad at all, that isn't. for a wire now this is the precarious bit we'll just stop it for a second depends if you're confident enough to lift it off now I don't want to deform the shape too much so I'm going to get a hot air gun stop him buzzing for a minute So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to firm up the clear Well, actually Actually I'm not going to use electric We'll go old school One second Got to get the fun tools We'll get we'll get the blow torch on it. So this is just a plumber's plumber's blow torch. So makes a bit of a noise, so I'll come back in a minute. Alright, we'll chop this bit out. But all we're gonna do is apply heat just to firm it up a bit. So when we lift it off, it doesn't move too much on us. So nice and slow. So flame. Like that, inside and out. So I'll speak to you in a minute. A few moments later. Right, I think that should do us. We'll give it a go anyway. So we've got our wire. I'm 
drag that through. And then I'll get a board. board so I should probably get about three on there so I'll go for the middle for this one don't want to get in the way of the camera so we're gonna give it a twist and a lift onto there so there is our first one that's it Probably could have done with a little bit drier, but it hasn't uh, it hasn't warped or anything too much. So there you go. The start of a yarn ball with some different clay. Okay, yeah, we'll switch this fella off for a minute. And we go up back up here. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna throw some more of these. And clear. It's, yeah, it's a bit of a mystery, so keep, keep checking back to see how they come out. Uh, so, like, subscribe, comment, all that YouTube stuff. Remember, clears the way. See you in another video very soon. Bye for now.